Hi, welcome back to another session of Dennis Talks Guns. Today, we are going to be answering a question that's been asked of me many times in the last couple of months, which is, how do you set up, calibrate, and shoot a dry fire practice session with the Mantis X Blackbeard system in an AR-15? Now, the Mantis X Blackbeard system is a replacement for bolt carrier and magazine of the AR. The unit itself, this thing, goes into the uh, upper receiver where uh, it replaces the bolt carrier uh, assembly and the um, uh, charging handle. Uh, in the bottom of it is a lever that is powered by a battery. These are the contacts for the battery. And in the front of it, this particular one has a laser that emits a red laser that can be used to track on a target with the Mantis X Laser Academy software, which we're gonna be showing you a little bit later, okay? That, in turn, pairs with a replacement for the magazine, which is actually a battery. And uh, in this case, the here's the two, the two contacts, one on the bottom, one on the top, goes this thing here, goes into the magazine, and uh, you can see that it's charged up because if I press the, um, the little battery test indicator, I just charge this up so I to be sure that it would work. But um, that's the power that uh, gets the system going. Now to install this into an AR, it's pretty simple. You take your garden variety AR-15, in this case it's an A1 E2 model. Uh, it's E2 because it has a knob as opposed to the thing that you need the tool for. Um, take the empty chamber indicator out. You need to close the bolt like so, so that you can crack the action apart like so. Pop her open, at which point you can remove the bolt carrier assembly, remove the charging handle, take the Mantis X Blackbeard, stick it in the gun like so. Close it, push it down, pop the thing back together. It is now set up. You can see there's red indicator. There's nothing else can go in there. And when you install the battery, you'll hear it make a sound that indicates that it is powering up like so. At which point that system is now set up so that every time I pop the trigger like so, it will reset the trigger like so. And the trigger reset rate on one of these Blackbeards is 10 times a second, or that's what uh, the company says, which basically means it is capable of supporting not just high power work, which is um, uh, fairly slow in terms of the rate at which you manipulate the trigger, but it will also support things like practicing for three gun uh, and um, police shooting and stuff like that, because you can go double tap and all kinds of stuff with it. But basically, it's got enough power to do, I forget what the maximum number of times that the battery will power up the system. Um, but that's that. And then when you fire it, if you look on the wall back there, it should, oh, you can't see it, it's too small. Yeah, it makes a red laser impact on a target, okay? We're gonna be doing this at short range because it's better for camera angles. But uh, let's keep going. All right, so the way you actually use a Blackbeard with uh, the Mantis X software is you're using one of two applications that Mantis X puts out. One of them is the original Mantis X app here, which is used with the motion sensors uh, that are, you put on the gun. They are blind uh, and basically measure the movement of the gun and give you uh, feedback as to how stable your shot is. What we're using today is the Laser Academy software, which actually uses the camera of the um, device, in this case an iPad, to look at a target that is mounted on a wall. And um, the Mantis uh, software looks at uh, these kinds of targets. They are, uh, they come in a variety. You see them here, different types of targets. And such and so. Um, you know, multiple targets and stuff like that. What they share in common is 
that uh, they are actually QR codes, and uh, which uh, these patterns on the sides of or the corners of the targets are different from one to the other, and they tell the software what kind of a target it is, and they tell it based on the way that it is looking at the uh, the image where the various scoring rings are on the target, okay? And in this case today, we're going to be using the most basic target of all, which is a bullseye target, like so. This is a little card, it's basically a little three by five card, and um, it mounts on the wall and it is looked at by the camera in your device. In this case, it's going to be looked at by an iPad, okay? So there's one on the wall back there. And um, when I kick on the Laser Academy software, it brings up a, a series of items. And what we are going to do first is we are going to go to the settings function and double check to make sure everything is there. Um, whether you want sounds, extra training sounds, all that kind of stuff, um, flashes or whatever um, can be controlled from there. And you have an account in me, in this case, it's my account so that it is actually recording the training that I am doing, okay? And we're gonna go over to the training tab now and we're going to pick an exercise. In this case, we're going to pick a 10 shot bullseye course. It basically says for the bullseye course, it will only accept two types of targets, uh, the, the, the round one for a classic bullseye and a B27, which is used primarily for pistols. By the way, you can mount these targets at any distance across the, the room so that you can make that bullseye smaller and smaller and smaller in its presentation by getting further and further away. As long as the device is looked at by a camera that can read the QR codes, it'll still pick up on the scoring rings at, um, in this case, you know, we're only about five feet away for uh, demonstration purposes, but I could put it on the other side of the house if I felt like it and uh, it would work just fine. Okay, we're gonna hit continue because we have one of the targets that is uh, available. And you can see here that it, the camera has now picked up on that target. And the blue outline shows where it is. It is waiting for me to calibrate it for this particular exercise. And the calibration, which is uh, where people have asked the target, uh, have, have asked me for information the most, goes like this. You hit the settings function, all right? And you're going to get a shoot to calibrate will come up on the menu. You press that and you will see that it's still the same image. It is looking at the target and what it's looking for here is on the camera, this crosshair needs to be placed over the bullseye. And uh, preferably as close to the center of the bullseye as you can, because what's going to happen now is I need to shoot a shot at the center of the bullseye. And when I do, Yeah, let's see what I do. It will get an offset. The laser is actually shining in that spot where it impacted. But the system knows that that is equivalent to the 10 ring. And what I need to do now is hit apply and that will save that function, at which point I can go back, go back to the drill that I wanted to shoot, hit start, it will count down, there's no time limit on this, but it's now ready and I can now shoot. In this case, it's gonna want me to shoot 10 shots.
All right, so it did that. And as you can see, it is now reporting what I've been doing, including that last eight that I pulled because I was got happy. Okay, so now that's how it works. Once that's done, you can uh, save the, it actually records this particular session. And we can shut that off, go back. There is a history tab that you can hit right down there. And it'll show you the history of all the shots that all the work that I've been doing like so, and it keeps a permanent record of it and it's on your account. I think you can share it with people and stuff like that, uh, within the Mantis X network of stuff. So you can shoot with friends and, and, and that type of stuff, but that's, that's it. That's basically all you do. And you can set that up. There are drills for, uh, single bullseye, 10 shots. Um, there are drills for all kinds of other things that you can do. Um, multiple shots on target, all that type of stuff. It doesn't have uh, some of the drills that are part of the um, well, it's courses that you can do. Okay, pistol marksmanship. It's all pistol at this point in the Laser Academy stuff. But the other software has rifle drills, and I'm guessing somewhere along the way they'll incorporate rifle drills into the laser software as well. But that's it. As you can see, it didn't take very long at all to uh, to set everything up, and um, we're up and going, able to shoot uh, 10 shots quickly. I mean, that was pretty quick, uh, probably quicker than I should have done. And uh, as you as you can probably tell, my shooting coat back there, which I use for normal practice, and uh, you know, trying to get this thing perfect and and doing everything right, is still up on the wall because I'm making a video. But um, yeah. That's how you make one of these Mantis X's work. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, learned a little bit of something about uh, just how quick and easy it is to actually set one of these things up. I've set this up uh, uh, across the room like this, a uh, very short distance, and I've done it uh, with the, um, the rifle like so. I've also done it with um, uh, other, other gear. I've done it um, with, a, with a CERT pistol, which is another laser unit that, uh, that that shoots out uh, laser beams out its nose and uh, the system is capable of actually reading uh, red lasers green lasers all that kind of stuff so um, it's, it's quite flexible in terms of whatever equipment you got and um, you can basically practice anytime you want you have done pistol courses rifle courses and uh, what's interesting is I've uh, you know I've act you can do with the blackbeard you can shoot uh, slow and rapid fire drills and um, make that work together. Uh, if you want to use it with the accelerometer sensor, you need two phones uh, or two two apps because they're they're not integrated apps right now. But uh, it's um, maybe that'll come someday and you can use both the sensor and the laser at the same time. But uh, that may tax the, the computer capacity of, of, the, of the system a little bit. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you got one of these units, uh, you now know just how easy it is to actually calibrate it. It takes one shot uh, with the laser to uh, get the offset and then you're ready to go. Less than three, four minutes to set up. Okay, take care.